What's good, everybody? Today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to graph inequalities on a coordinate plane and how to know which direction to shade. So, guys, when we start off with this subject, first thing we have to know is how to graph the line. So, we're not going to spend much time on that. But for this inequality, y is less than 2x plus 3. We know it's going to have a positive slope. So we start off with our y-intercept of 3, right? And then we know our slope is 2. So after I go down 2 over 1, this is how we get our second point for the line. Now, when we're talking about graphing inequalities, right, on a coordinate plane, there's two things that we need to know. So let's just slide out some. So when we have the greater than and less than sign, that line on the graph is going to be dotted like you see, right? And I'm going to explain the difference between why it's dotted and then a solid line, okay? And then when we have greater than or equal to, or less than and equal to, we're going to have a solid line. So the two difference or the main difference between these two lines is when it's greater than or equal to, right, points on the line. So if you look at these two red points that I'm plotting on our line right here, let's just do three, right? Those are solutions, right? They're solutions. They are part of the answer. But when we're talking about a, a dashed line, greater than or less than, those dots on the line will not be a solution. All right, so that's the biggest thing to understand when we're going to use the dashed line versus a solid line. So now we're talking about knowing which direction to shade. So there's two ways that I could break this down, right? Anytime we have a less than or equal to sign, that means we're going to shade under the line. So when we look at this part right here, if we just went based off the inequality, less than means we're going to shade under the line like you guys see me doing right now. If it's greater than or equal to, it's going to be above the line. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you another method, and it's, going, it's the best method yet if you ask me the most accurate one. So what we could do is we could pick a point. Right, and if we pick a point, let's say we pick uh three zero, right? So we pick the point three zero, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug that x and y into our inequality. So we're gonna say that right zero is y. So let's switch that. So zero is less than or equal to two times x, right? We know x is now three. And we're going to add 3 to the to that. So our answer is going to be 0 is less than or equal to 6 plus 3, which is 9. So when we look at this answer, 0 is less than or equal to 9, we know that that is correct. So we would shade in the same area as that point. All right? We would shade in the same area. So this is another way to check. And let's say we picked a different point. So now we're going to switch to white. I mean, I'm sorry, black. So let's say I went up here and I picked a point negative 4, 4, right? And now what we're going to do is we're going to take this same point and I'm going to determine whether it's a true or false statement so I can know which side to shade. All right? So now we substitute. So we say... 4 is less than or equal to 2 times negative 4 plus 3. So when we look at this answer now, right, we're going to have this as an answer. So 4 is less than or equal to negative 5. So we know that that is not true. So because that's not true, guys, we're not going to shade in the top half part of our graph, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a black X. We would not shade in this part. We would shade in the opposite part. So remember, guys, when you're shading inequalities on a coordinate plane, right, please make sure 
you guys double check your answer by plugging in a point or knowing that, hey, if it's less than, you're going to shade under the line. Or if it's greater than, you're going to shade above the line. Hopefully, you guys found this video helpful today on graphing inequalities on a coordinate plane. I'm Mr. Peters. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, we're going to ask that you subscribe to our channel and leave future comments down for us below. Thank you, guys.